TYT Sports locked out here in Culver City, California. Rick Strom with you. A story that has come to the surface today and I will arguably say overshadows the Giants going to their 19th World Series uh, and beating the St. Louis Cardinals last night is Ozzy Guillen. He was canned today as the Miami Marlins manager. I'll still get used to saying that. Um, Basically, they had an abysmal year. They went 69 and 93. This is the second straight year that the Marlins have finished last, last in the NL East. They, they signed Ozzie Guillen away from the White Sox. Uh, again, after eight seasons, he won the 2005 World Series with Chicago, thinking that he will bolster this lineup. They got Heath Bell. They got rid of Hanley Ramirez during the year, but they also signed Jose Reyes. They were thinking that this guy can turn around the team, add some sheds of light, which he certainly did, and some color to this team, and he got canned. Well, many are saying, by the way, one guy is not surprised. That's Ricky Nolasco. You can see his tweet right here. There are many flaws that we saw from Ozzie Guillen this year, and one of them was at the beginning of the season. Miami is known for having a large Cuban uh, population in Miami. There are many Cuban Americans that live in Miami. And Ozzy Guillen, in a Times Magazine interview, said that he loves Fidel Castro. Here was his exact quote. I love Fidel Castro. I respect Fidel Castro. You know why? A lot of people wanted to kill Fidel Castro for the last 60 years. But that mother bleeper is still here. Possibly one of the dumbest remarks you can ever, ever say. And then we get into Heath Bell. Him and Ozzie Guillen were at odds what seemed like the entire season, if not just the second half of the season. Here was his quote. Uh, he basically said that he didn't respect Heath Bell. So already the clubhouse being separated like crazy. And then, you know what, he had this third thing where he went after Bryce Harper, 19-year-old kid, great ball player. At least he's turning out to be a solid ball player for the Washington Nationals because of pine tar. I'm okay with that one. You know what, if he wants to argue like that, that's just baseball. That's fine. But then the fourth one was when he decided to attack Jeffrey Loria, the Marlins owner, and here's what he said. This is his quote, guys. If Jeffrey doesn't think I'm doing the job, I should do. It's not the first time he's fired a manager. Look yourself in the mirror and ask why so many freaking managers come through here. Ozzie was the fourth manager since 2010, by the way, for the Marlins. But either way, his actions spoke volumes. And you know what? It doesn't surprise anybody in baseball if you're up with the sport. It shouldn't surprise you at all. You can't get away with this, shit. especially the Castro stuff. I mean, it is so absurd. And ridiculous. By the way, you should definitely watch out for his Twitter handle because I'm sure that he will give his thoughts on all of this. He's not the kind of guy to just hold stuff in, I guess you could say. John Heyman of CBS Sports had this tweet. Management thought he did a poor job. Some were appalled he delegated so much to Cora. That is his bench coach who was with him with the White Sox. Marlins president Larry Beinfast said in a statement, our managerial search begins immediately and our hope is that a new manager, along with roster improvements, will restore a winning culture. Not sure I remember that winning culture. They've only won the World Series. They won the World Series twice in 20 years of existence, but when have they really had a winning culture? I'm not attacking you Miami Marlins fans. I'm just stating the obvious. By the way, Ozzie Guillen, he signed a four-year $10 million deal. He still has three years, obviously, remaining on that contract. He is going to be paid $7.5 million by the Miami Marlins. On the final day of the season, by the way, he had this quote, with the job I did this year, do you think I deserve to be back here? Of course not, but I'm not the only one. Let's start from the top. The front office failed. Ozzy failed. The coaching staff failed. The players failed. Everybody failed. What this immature manager fails to realize is that he grabs the headlines. He does it to himself. This is a large flaw in his managerial philosophy. You know, I've talked to, and I'm not kidding, I've talked to a few baseball players uh, that have played for Ozzy Guillen. I'm going to have them remain nameless. And some of them said that they don't like how Ozzy doesn't keep it indoors. He doesn't keep it in the clubhouse. He goes out with the media and he lashes out at his players through the media. That's a problem you have, man. A lot of players are not going to want to play for you. The Marlins are doing the right thing here. But we want to hear your thoughts on all of this. Leave your comments in the comments section below. How do you feel about Ozzy being fired? Marlins fans, I'm asking you guys, basically, uh, specifically, do you think he should have been fired? Tweet those at me, Eric Strom. We could always have a conversation. And please do us a favor, guys. I promise I won't Ozzy you anymore. Subscribe to TYT Sports.